that was established in 1986, a joint seed grant program between Georgia Tech and Emory University School of Medicine, which provided funds for collaboration between faculty at the two institutions. And that really got us going. It was important in my thinking about whether to come here or not. Another important uh, event was really the establishment of the Joint Department of Biomedical Engineering between Georgia Tech and Emory. When Mike Johns came to Emory to be the Executive Vice President for Health Sciences, he wanted Emory to be involved in biomedical engineering. We all agreed that the right person to head that up would be to recruit Don Giddens back from Johns Hopkins to Georgia Tech. Don arrived in June 1997, chaired a committee, met, made recommendations, and three months later, September 1997, the Board of Regents had approved the establishment of a new joint department and the Board of Trustees at Emory had established a new joint, had approved the establishment of a new joint department. All in three months. That doesn't very often happen in academia that things move that fast. And certainly uh, the generosity of Pete Petit, uh, the awards we got from the Whitaker Foundation in 1993 and I think the second one was 2000. And the Coulter Foundation providing their money, that's all contributed to what has been by any academic measure a very rapid increase in bioengineering, its recognition nationally, internationally, and to being at least in terms of US, World, US News and World Report the uh, second ranked department in the country. But my bias would say um, we're right up there at the top in terms of applying engineering principles to uh, improve human health. What attracted me to come here 1987 was the very entrepreneurial attitude. Um, I still remember being told as part of the recruiting process, um, I think it was probably by Tom Stelson who was then the Vice President for Research, Bob, you have to understand, Georgia Tech is what it is and is going to become what it's going to become, not because the state of Georgia wants it to be that good, but because the faculty, the administration, and the alumni want it to be that good. Uh, Bob's personal qualities, I think, are probably number one is he's really a people person. He can remember names, life stories, where this person went to school, they've moved from this school to that school as far as faculty colleagues from whenever I go. Those kinds of things are not forgotten. And Bob has these rules of life on the planet Earth that he created. Uh, he's always, the co coffee cup is always half full. Most positive person I know, I've learned quite a bit of that. And the rule that's the hardest for me is, if there's ever a situation or an incident that is just awful and terrible and you don't know what to do, place the least dramatic interpretation on whatever has happened or whatever has been said. And, you know, figure it all out and it doesn't feel so bad at all. 